Hello anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we're exploring Amnesia the Dark Descent. We're back here in the nave area where uh, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa has been... has... 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 has bleh, bleh, can't speak. He's had his soul trapped in a weird machine thingy, and we can't open these doors, so there's really only one way to go. So let's go that way. Oh, it's dark. Great. Awesome. Okay. What's with the red light? Did I lose a bunch of sanity for that? Nope, actually I'm at the same place. Same uh, as I was before. Slight headache. That's cool. Alright, so go to the red light or avoid it. Well, let's do the smart thing and go towards it. How about that? Huh. Okay. So there wasn't actually anything in here. That's awesome. It's really awesome. And there's some bricks on the floor. And some rotten fruit. Yummo. Alright. There's two other doorways, and there's the top part, which has two doorways of its own. And a table that might have stuff on it. Whoops, not the right button. Okay, what about in here? Anything of anything of worth? Nope. Cool. And nothing else. Okay, these are just uh cells. Where they kept people. Obviously. But uh they're very odd looking cells. At first I thought they were like Padded cells, but, uh... How much oil do I have? I'm kind of wasting it. Constantly bringing out my thing. Oh, wait, no! Oh, chancel! No, that's a... Carefully cutting the man open made him think. This is how father must feel about his craft. Being an artisan, relying on one's skill to perform something so delicate grants a certain form of pride. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, let's go back. Because I didn't realize that was a loading door. I want to check out the rest of that room first. Oh. These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Oh boy. Okay, maybe we should have gotten that flashback when we first entered the room. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, that's not what I thought those pipes were for. I just assumed they were to let air in. Or, uh, water or food or something. Okay, anything up here? Is this just another cell? The hell? What was with the mist? I don't know. Okay. Cool. Just, uh... Random mist out of nowhere. Making our dude go crazy. I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. A taste of Damascus Rose obfuscating the truth in the dim hanging. They may sweep the traces from my memory, but my body remembers. It is constant volumes, even though my mind remains silent. They will be back. Uh, they will be back. Okay. Thanks for blinding me, game. Also, I don't know why, when we're in the uh, flashback segments, the game gets a lot darker, even when we're standing near the light. But anyway, hey, we picked up meat. Great. What do we want to do with that? A slab of fresh meat? I don't know. 
probably nothing good. Oh, and we've lost some sanity from standing in the darkness. Awesome. That's just great. Okay. I guess now we'll go back to the chancel. Um, also, it's interesting. Earlier they did say that Daniel had killed someone in order to try and like hold off the darkness. Um, but it's interesting that now it's also confirming that he's gone to you know torture and everything like that, and a particularly cruel form of torture where he's you know making the prisoners that aren't being tortured yet listen to the sounds of the other people he's currently torturing and all that. Um, it just kind of makes me wonder, like how, f like I, I'm I presume the game's going to tell us, but it makes me wonder how far was Daniel willing to go to try and hold off the darkness and everything. And, uh, you know, because it's like, our current goal is to kill Alexander. That's been the goal since the beginning of the game. And, uh, you know, our the version of Daniel we're playing as, who doesn't have all of his memories intact, he, uh, you know, he's going along with that, but he's not the one who made the decision. It was the, the other, you know, the previous Daniel... And I just have to wonder, after going through murdering someone in a ritual, and then going through all this torture, what was it that eventually made Daniel decide to kill Alexander? Like, was there something just way worse that Alexander did, or that Alexander made him do? Or maybe Alexander just betrayed him? I guess that would, you know, be the most obvious thing, also kind of the most boring but, uh, yeah, no. It's making me, making me curious. Okay, now to the chancel. Such filthy thought. Good men can safely share their departure as, th as they are nothing but a burden to mankind. They shall not be missed. Okay. I would think that the good men would be missed. But I don't know, that's just me. I don't know. Okay. What is that thing? Oh, it's another vent. They'll seem to be all over the place in this castle. Oh. Oh. Well. It won't budge. I think... I think this is the door that we were on the other side of before. I think on the other side of this is the, uh, the cistern and everything like that. It looks exactly the same as that door. And both doors gave the exact same message of it won't budge when we tried to open them. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. It's the same size and everything. I think that is the same door. So we could have skipped quite a bit if that door hadn't... If that door had been able to budge. <laughs> okay. What flashback are we seeing now? Oh, there is a light in the distance. Do we have to go to the light? There's more flower petals. The light is not coming from any other direction. Okay. I guess we'll just go towards it. If it makes a monster spawn in the light, I'm going to be annoyed. Seriously, that's going to be cheap game. Okay. Alright. Uh. Okay, I guess we'll touch the light. Oh, we're not touching the light. We're opening the door? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Why is there no sound? Okay, what the hell is going on? Did the sound of the game break or something? I have no idea. This is weird. Um, okay, so these are... Just random machines. I don't know what they're 
for. This is a pedestal. The pedestal has a smooth hemispherical depression at the top. Yeah. So I guess we need to put a round thing in there. Probably not the meat. Yeah, no. I didn't think so. Um, I think Agrippa said we have to, like, find... Yeah, seriously, why isn't there any noise? Shouldn't all that lightning be making noise? I'm guessing that's where Alexander is, though. Would make sense. Okay. Um, I, but yeah, I think Agrippa said we have to, like, find all the pieces to the orb and put them together, so I guess that's where that would go. So I guess we're pretty close to the end of the game. Good news for me, because this thing is scaring the shit out of me. Okay, can can the can the weird darkness flashback bit stop now? Like this is the exact same annoying effect that the game uses when it's doing a flashback that I just complained about a minute ago. Like our movement is forced to be slower and everything. And there's no sound. There's nobody speaking. There's nothing. Okay. Let's get a note. The Shattered Orb. All is lost. I must once again start over. Ever since I recovered the orb first found by Agrippa, I have depended on it for my research. The incident with Wilhelm made me most impetuous. Fearing a paucity of prisoners, I proceed with the final ritual without proper foresight. The orb cracked and fell into six parts. I have tried everything, but have yet to mend the, th but have yet to mend the thing. Unless I can think of a way to piece it together, I will have to find another. There's still life in the pieces, and even if the orb isn't restored, I might be able to salvage some of its power for some other pur purpose. Centuries have passed in vain, and I begin to wonder if I will ever be able to see my love again. How much longer can I sustain my life? Okay, I'm guessing that was written by Alexander. Okay, this is really annoying. I have a feeling the game probably glitched out or something. Because we passed through that light. The actual light didn't do anything, and we couldn't interact with the light. The interaction hand symbol only came up for the door behind the light. And it didn't go away after we passed it. And there's no voices, and this weird slow down visual effect hasn't gone away. I have a feeling it has glitched out. So I am going to go back through that loading door, back to the nave, and hopefully it'll fix itself. Okay? Because this is really annoying. The fear had begun to drown him again. He reached once more for the empty bottle of laudanum. In frustration, he smashed it against the bedpost. Okay, hold up. Yeah, there's just no sound at all. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay, well, uh, gonna have to cut it here. I'm gonna have to figure out what the hell is going on, why the game is just cutting out the sound. Uh, see you in a second. Just a little further. It's like Orpheus descending into the underworld. Are you hiding something? W what do you mean? Never mind. Your intuition is remarkable. I'm not sure I'm following. It doesn't matter. It's just a myth after all. Okay, so I had to restart the game. And uh, turns out my computer was having a problem where it was cutting out the sound, but I think the problem was caused by the game, because as you just saw there, the, uh, I, I think, I believe that voice was supposed to play when we were walking through the chancel. And yeah, just to confirm that the, yeah, see, the, uh, sound is still working, or the sound is working now in the game, so, yeah. I'm not sure what caused that, exactly. I think the game sort of glitched out and, uh, caused the whole thing to stop. Because the, the problem 
my computer was having. Okay, I don't like the noise that's... I don't like the music that's playing now. Whatever it takes. Great. Okay. The light's gone. I'll hope it stays that way. Um, anyway. But yeah, the, the problem my computer was having was that the volume was stuck on zero for some reason. So I just... Yeah. Thankfully, just a quick restart of the game and everything was able to get it back to normal. So let's go check out this room over here that looks pretty creepy. Not, uh, not excited to be going around this place at all, to be honest. Got some hieroglyphs that have been patched together. statue of a dude. Tinder box. Okay. Stuff in there. That is some... Um, looks like Mongol armor, or Mogul armor. However it's pronounced. I can't remember. Uh, that's cool. So I guess they, uh, I guess they sort of scalvenged, scalvenged, Jesus, salvaged a lot of stuff from all over the world, looking for those orbs. All right, and that is that a chair? It's a little bit uh, fancy for a chair. Okay. Oh, and this is a. Nice, pleasant, sacrificial chamber, by the looks of it. Great. Awesome. Can't interact with this at all, so... And, uh... Yeah, it's just a dead end. Okay, cool. Alright. To be honest, I was half expecting them to spawn a monster behind us, because that's exactly what they would do. We still can't do anything over there, because we need the orb, I presume. So, one more direction. This whole place is really cool looking, but uh, very eerie. I mean, imagine a place this big being built by human hands. Imagine how long that would take. Especially since this is back in, like, 1700s or something. I can't remember what year the game takes place in, but it takes place during the Prussian Empire. The, or the days of the Prussian Empire, I mean. Um, yeah, this would have taken forever, and it would have cost a fortune. And for Alexander to go that far to do all this, just to, you know, hide his orb, like, jeez. I mean, obviously the dude's crazy, I know that, but, like, still. Like, jeez. Okay. Boxes and gears and machinery. 12th of August, 1839. Banishment ritual is taking longer than expected. And we have to do what is needed. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way, as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. I try to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Last time was messy, and the effect suffered from my inexperience. When the next warding is to be performed, 
I shall be ready. Yeah. You do that, Daniel. Sure. So, uh, if anybody who hasn't figured it out yet, um, it was actually... Um, uh, it, it was made clear at the beginning of the game when they talk about Alexander kidnapping people out in the woods around Brennenburg. Um, but it's 100% confirmed here, just in case there's any uh, mystery about it, that uh, Alexander was capturing people, putting them in the dungeon, and then lying to Daniel, telling that Daniel that those people were prisoners. So Daniel's actually been torturing innocent people the whole time. And uh, they, they didn't like it too much. Bucket of tar. Shimmering blue light? You mean the light that I saw? The one that was really annoying and sort of made my game stop working? Alright, bucket of tar. Wooden bucket filled with sticky tar. Great. Alright, what's down here? I don't like all the creepy machines. Really. Good stuff never happens around these things. Oops, oops, oops. Got, got the latch. Grab the latch, Daniel. Wait. Okay. For no real reason, we just can't grab the latch and pull it off. That's really weird. Do I need to... Use an item on this? No. It's solid metal and in good shape. This is no use. Uh, I don't suppose this will do anything. Nope. Tar. The tar? No? Oh, okay. I thought they flashed when you could use them together. I guess not. Okay. So... That's a dead end for now. We're gonna need something to break that open, I guess. Something a lot better than a chisel and hammer. Is this your time, missing Daniel? If so, blame yourself. You started this. You sent me that letter asking for help, and this is how you repay me. How dare you! Okay. I'm thinking maybe we should go back here and examine it just to. Maybe we'll get a maybe we'll get a uh, a voice clip or something this time. Pedal saws smooth, hemispherical compression at the top. Yep. All that's electricity will probably kill us instantly if we try to walk into it. No. Okay. Never mind. I guess I'm wrong. All right. Uh, was there another direction that we hadn't gone to yet? I don't know. We'll. Go back and take a look then. Because there's clearly nothing else here. Everything is a dead end. There's a gate we can't get past. That just goes back to the cistern. We don't need to go back there anyway. Oop. Okay. Um. All the cells were empty and also dead ends. It had gone too far, the man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look for the Damascus Rose oil. Okay. Don't know what the Damascus Rose oil has to do with anything that's going on. Um How are things coming? You should hurry, Daniel. No time for sitting around. Yes, I know. Thank you, Agrippa. Thank you. Um Okay, these things still won't raise up. Right? Neither of them? Yep, nope, cannot be open from here. Those pipes just go into the walls. Oh wait, these must be where the torture goes on. I'll bet these pipes lead into the walls and then split off and head into each of the cells. And that's where the that's how the sound travels to the cells so that the other prisoners can hear the screams of the people being tortured. So these must be where the torture goes on behind here. But then, what? What do I use either of these for? I'm not sure. 
I know that there's also that door up there that needs to be broken off. Um, with the wood on it. But I don't think a bucket of tar or a slab of meat would do that. Why can't we walk over this? Really? We have to jump? Are you kidding me? There's just a tiny little... Right there. That line. There's just a tiny little lip. Like a slightly higher edge and it stops us from walking forward. Except at a very specific angle. Right here on the left side we can walk forward. Over here. Oh wait, nope. We can walk forward over here too. But when we try to go straight in it... Yeah, when we try to go straight, it stops us. That's weird. Okay. Whatever. I don't know what that's about. But uh, whatever. I'm out of time for now anyway, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, and I'll try to look around or something. And when we come back, I'll... Uh, we'll continue on. And you know what? Frankly, I think the game is in a good mood today. Since it has tried to destroy my computer. So... You know, we'll see how things go when we come back. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.